Hi, welcome to Max Wheeler. In today's episode, we're gonna do a versus comparison. We're gonna compare the B12 against the B11. So let's see, and let me share my thoughts with you. Welcome to Max Wheeler, my name is Jacob. And we have these two EUCs from InMotion to do a comparison video. And I'm gonna give you my opinion on which one should I buy? Like, should you buy? I mean, I, I bought the two of them, but I will just keep one. <laughs> so let's start with the thing, the first thing I have in my hand, the trolley handle. The trolley handle, that's a clear win for the B12. It's more, it's more firm. This is the B12 high torque. Uh, it's more firm than the B11 one. And the B11 one, you have this little problem that I, I haven't addressed, but everyone seems to have the same problem. So, clear winner, you have this one. Next thing, lights. So the light of the B11 has the angel eye, which, honestly, my preference. These lights are amazing, but let's give the lights to the B11. Now, tires. Without taking into account that the tooth on my tire exploded, talking about just the tire, the B12 high torque is way better than the B11 because the B11 is some, it's like slim and, I, and I, I have heard of many cases of flats. So the winner, if the tooth is okay, <laughs> it's a B12. So, looks, that's a very hard one because in the beginning, I was inclined more to the B11 than to the B12, but now with the uh, Max Wheeler artwork, I will take the B12, no questions, but I will leave that up to you. Uh, what about probability? I think the B12, if I'm not mistaken, is more heavy than the B11. However, the space that you take in your car or where you're storing it, it's smaller, the footprint is smaller on the B12 than the B11. So, uh, let's say a tie. Now, out of the box usability. That one, I'll give it to the B12 because even though for unlock the full potential of the B12 high torque, you need pads, you can drive it without pads. On the case of the B11, you need something to stop you from like going up. So that could be fixed by some pads like I have here, like Clark pads, or you can have a, an insert there. So it, it holds your feet on, on the unicycle. So I will, I will, I will give it more to the, to the B12. Also the guards, same guards, the back lights, the, the back guards uh, are better for the I mean, what they have done, they probably can do the same in, in the B12, but I like, I like the, this type of accessory, so it looks like more sporty in my look. Uh, a bit subjective, that part. What about top speed? That's uh, an easy winner. The B12 high torque, it's uh, 60 kilometers per hour. The B11 is 55 kilometers per hour. Now, range. So range, we're gonna give it to the B11. You can go further with the B11 than with the B12. What about the uh, fun factor? <sighs> That's B12. This is so good while you're like curbing and like doing some agile stuff. But the B B B11, I'll give it for more like cruising and more uh, commuting type of wheel, so that's kind of like a tie. Uh, what about uh, pedals? It's exactly the same, but in this case, on the B11, I have the honeycomb pedals from InMotion, and I have the regular pedals on the B12 high torque, but I could buy the same. What about, uh, let's talk about speed. No, we already talked about that. Let's talk about taillights. Taillights, clear winner, B11. Because the B12 high torque, 
it doesn't have any taillight. So if you want to be more safe at night and more visible, like go for the B11. Also with these things that you add to the accessory, like it's, it's, it's crazy, it's like amazing. So if I have to make a decision, which one should I buy? For me, because I have other wheels, I will go for the B12 because it has that, that's my small wheel. It's not as small, but that's a 16 inch wheel that I can, I can have. The B11, you can go if it's gonna be like your only wheel. If you're gonna have just one wheel, go for the B11. If you're gonna have several wheels, like a bigger wheel, like a better Sherman, or you want to try a S22, or a veteran Abrams, like, I don't know, uh, you can have the B12 because the B11 would be like mm, very redundant on your EUC collection, I would say. Uh, what about mud guards? Mud guards, I think they're like basically like use, like they, they are super useful. Uh, I will take either or, no problem. Let's call it a tie. Uh, now, uh, how about the drive? Believe it, believe it or not, the B12, I feel that I have kind of suspension because of that type of the wheel. And this one has suspension. But let's, let's give it to the B11 because it's a suspension wheel, so it's easier to cruise. Um, well, that's, uh, oh, it's features. Features. We're gonna give it to the B12 because the B12 has a screen and uh, in motion B11 doesn't have a screen. Uh, B12 has a speakers and the um, B11 has some speakers but you cannot play music, I think. I'm pretty sure about that. So you can play like when you turn it on. Yeah, this type of... Yeah, that's what you can do with the B11 and with the B12, like you can play actual music. Killer switch, basically the same. Stand, very close, but give it to the B12, it's a bit better. Uh, yep, yeah, that will be my uh, comparison video between these two in motion wheels. Uh, tell me which one you choose. This is also a new generation is brand new. Uh, it was out th this summer, 2022, and this one was out on 2020. So it's been through some cycles. However, I will, I'll probably keep my B12 and sell my, my B11. Thank you for watching. My name is Jacob, and see you in the next ride.